In the last video, you learned about stage one of the Async First Starter Kit. Now let me show you what happens in stage two. This stage is about how to understand your current state. You want to learn how mature your team's distributed work practices are. So for this, you will first need to set up a survey for your team. The easiest way to get a copy of the survey for your team is using the Async First Starter Kit app. You can either use the web app or install it on your mobile device. To run it as an app on iOS or Android, you must first install the AppSheet app. The Starter Kit app will run inside the AppSheet app. I've installed the app on my device. Since I haven't set up a team yet, it leads me to the registration. I'll enter a team name and select an image to help identify it on the app. You can register as many teams as you want. As soon as you complete registration, you'll receive an email in your inbox with a link to the Google survey form for your team. The app too has a link to the same survey. In case you can't use Google Forms at your workplace, I've created a document with all the survey questions. You can use this document to recreate the survey in a tool of your choice. You will notice that this document has different sections. These sections help you group related questions Different questions have different answer types. For example, this one uses radio buttons, this one takes a numeric input, and this one needs a grid. Set up your survey exactly like this so you can use the score calculator in the kit as well. For your benefit, there's a live survey you can look at to check if your survey looks and behaves similarly. Once your survey is ready, roll it out to your colleagues and make sure everyone fills it out it should take less than 10 minutes to complete. I suggest blocking a time in everyone's calendar so they have the time set aside to complete this reflection exercise. When everyone's done, you'll be ready to tabulate your results. For that, let's go back to the app. You'll notice that since I already have a registered team, the app goes to the My Teams tab. I'll hit Enter Data, this will prompt you to create an assessment for your team and take you to a form that you must fill to summarize your survey results. Go section by section and fill them out with the aggregate results you get from the survey tool. This is a detail-oriented task, so give yourself 30 minutes to complete it. If you aren't using the app, you can also use the score calculator spreadsheet on the site to summarize your results. Either way, you'll get a bunch of scores. Here's what the team scorecard looks on the app. Now, you're ready to go back to the mural. Use the outline to go to step five. Take these scores from the score spitter and add them to each field in the mural dashboard. You'll notice that each item in this scorecard has a goal beside it. This should tell you how far you are from being at elite status on any of these benchmarks. And that, my friend, is a point of reflection. Bring your team in to reflect on this scorecard. Use the reflections and action space for everyone to share their thoughts about these results. And once everyone's done, group similar sticky notes together and agree on any collective actions you can take. Remember not to complicate this beyond reason. Keep it simple and think of small but impactful steps. So that was stage two. Time to move to stage three. That's the next video.